You have probably seen me using this at home blood test kits before and I'm going to use them again and again. So I decided to make a video where I actually do it step by step in case you decide to make your own test at home and you don't want to waste any blood because there are some tricks which I've learned the hard way. So that's what we have inside. All the instructions wipe we have the card to collect two blood samples like four or five drops each that's why you have to be careful obviously you need to register your kit with your phone we have a ghost pad hopefully i'm not going to use that but sometimes if your blood dries that's a good thing this is two shipping packets the sample will go in here when it's dry do not open it right away and shipping pouch and of course lancets shallow lancets and deep lancets i'm going to stick with deep but before you do any of that before you do any of that the test is done in the morning and in the morning we usually wake up dehydrated and not sluggish but the system is slow so first thing first you need to drink a good glass of water something like that and i'm going to add my usual mineral concentrate there to make it tastier second you need to move a little bit get that blood flowing I usually do my morning exercises outside the day. It's just probably good enough to do some vigorous hand rotations. Again, what we're trying to do is to create good blood flow, elevate your heart rate a little bit. Depending on when you do it, if you still feel like your hands are cold, it's a good idea to wash them with hot water again every single bit to open up the capillaries okay oh hot all right i have that blood flowing so wipe pick a finger of choice oh, let's give it the middle finger <laughs> okay then I need to dry it fully and as I said it's better to take blue lancet which is more deep because if the blood is flowing freely you don't need to squeeze your fingers as much and it actually might heal faster than shallow lancet but if you have to really milk it okay so let's get this ready and also important to make a hole not in the middle but in the side so it kind of drips easier but anyway let's let's do it and just like that and of course ideally the blood drop should just go there by itself but if it doesn't you can lightly touch the paper So it's going to be one and also it's important to fill the first square first good four or five drops and only then go to the second because the blood coagulates and it might not soak the paper properly okay it's three
five and I already see it start to get on the other side. They say to put four large drops, but in my experience you need five. Okay. So let's start filling the other square. One. Three. Almost them, almost them. And as you can see, you can work the arm a little bit to push the blood from the outside. Four, five, and I see how it starts to appear on the other side, but I feel like I need to add maybe another drop or two just to be safe. And also as I was saying, if the blood stops flowing, instead of making a second hole, sometimes you can just wipe it to remove the dry blood. And then if you push again, Right, it starts bleeding. Okay, let's. And here you go. That's hopefully should be enough. <laughs> and the next step is to let it dry for about an hour and then I'm going to put it into the package. Okay. So now it's fully dried up and it's time to open up the shipping package. Yeah, don't forget to sign <laughs> your sample. I already did mine. And you also need to register the kit with the phone. Okay, just open. Carefully sliding it up. Then right. seal. Again, there is a checkbox just in case to what to do. And there is a QR code to register the kit. So we go to the camera. Open things up and it just says register your kit. And already recognized me because I have ordered it from my account so it knows that this particular number belongs to my account. It's all kind of seamless. And we just hit continue. It's all. It's been registered. It has been packaged. Now we put it into, into the shipping packet. Come on, it's tight. And registered name in our blood sample dry. Okay. So we need drop it into any mailbox and it's going to be ready in a week. And that's how you properly do biohacking. If you have seen my video about how it should be done, all the mistakes and uh, pitfalls and how to do it correctly. <laughs> that's one of the essential things to have your supplements correct, uh, have your biohacking doing what you think it's doing. Otherwise, if you don't measure, how do you know, right? So check this video next where I actually use this kit for something good. And as usual, aging is bad, living is smart, and I'll see you in the next video.